I'm Steve Newman, a board member here at Canal Shores and um, chair of the Ecology Committee. So my name is Sonia and we are at Canal Shores over by Hole 3 across from Evanston Hospital. And it's a beautiful Saturday morning and we didn't get rained out. And we're here because um, Evanston Hospital and Canal Shores have established a relationship with each other and uh, the golf course is gracefully letting us use part of this area here to do some brush cleanup, make a path, and uh, plant a lot of native plants, which will be wonderful for bees, butterflies, and also will make it look really, really beautiful here for years to come. Yeah, well, we're in year two working with the uh, hospital that is right next door here. Um, they started a wellness program and saw this open green space and saw all the volunteers that have started coming out over the last few years. And uh, we're in year two now working with the hospital. And today is um, an exciting day. We're planting over 200 uh, native perennials that'll be great for uh, pollinators, birds, uh, et cetera. But uh, really the, the exciting piece is, is the connection with the people. Um, bringing out everyone over from the hospital or bringing out their kids uh, it's it's been uh, it's been great I'm Marissa Gibson I work at Evanston Hospital in the core laboratory for shift and we are shoring up hole number three we are beautifying the environment right now we're just planting some greenery um, digging some holes clearing out the weeds and it's raining it's raining but you know it's refreshing so <laughs> Well, it's um, so my dad actually um, passed away from uh, brain cancer, and we spent 18 months um, on the fourth and fifth floor over at the hospital, looking down on this space, looking at the cement wall, and watching golfers come in February. And I think it's particularly special to me to know now that the patients will be looking out at improved uh, green space. Maybe they're up there right now looking at us all working and getting a good sense of community while they're trying to, to heal. And then once these plants come in, um, they'll have all of the, uh, the color that's gonna come from it. So I think, I, I know what it's like being up in that fourth and fifth room, not as a patient, but as a, a caregiver to my dad. And uh, I, I hope this impacts the employees that are up there, but also uh, the, the patients. Hi, my name is Eric Tengler. Uh, I work over here at Evanston Hospital. Uh, I am lucky enough to be a member of the Evanston Hospital Wellbeing Committee. And one of our first projects that we identified last year as being something that would both, uh, you know, promote well-being among our staff, I think, by allowing us to get kind of a little more in touch with our, our, uh, our beautiful local natural habitat and give a little back to our local community in the way of like, you know, beautifying our surroundings so everyone can enjoy them. Uh, this just seemed like the perfect project for us. So when we uh, first formed up last year, the first thing that got everybody really, really excited was coming out here on a Saturday, hauling mulch, cutting trail, weeding, feeding, planting, and making this place something that we can all enjoy for the first time in a long time. You know, we all looked down from the windows down on this big expanse of green, and it looked like it was just this inaccessible thing. And even though it was so close to us, it was also kind of far away. And now we're down in the middle of it. I think it allows us a chance to feel like, you know, we were a part of our community a little bit more than we ever had. But we've been here for, I don't know, 100 years, maybe more than that. And now, you know, the first time I've, been, I've worked here for 20 plus years, it's the first time I've ever been out here before. And I can tell you, uh, I'm gonna be out here every chance I get. Everybody who's come down here, I think has had a really cool, interesting, sweaty, fun time, full of, uh, you know, camaraderie, a good place to bring the, uh, the, the kids out and get their hands a little bit dirty and uh, do something that's really worthwhile at the same time. I think it's a terrific, terrific thing we're doing out here. Uh, well, I definitely intend to, to drag a lot of my co-workers out here with me. I think this will be a great space to come out and have lunch when the weather is nice, enjoy a little bit of fresh air and a little bit of nature. And I really hope that you know, some of the patients use it too because first of all, it's kind of a nice way for us to interact outside of a hospital setting. Um, and, you know, helps healing, man. I, I can tell you, I'm starting to see it with the people that come out from the hospital, but this has been going on for 
six, seven, eight years and really got a, uh, a big push uh, through the pandemic over the last couple of years. And I see it time and time again. I'm an example. Um, you get out here and you start spending time in nature and working with your hands, getting your hands dirty. Um, it's it feels really good. And you know, speaking of hospital and health and all that, there's studies um, all over the place that talk about spending time in green space, particularly in an urban environment that we live in, is so good for your health. It's so rewarding. Um, not sure how much you can see behind me, but th this is sense of community. Um, so it's it's super uh, super special. So Steve, please please more of you come out. <laughs>